this is how legends are made, the mighty midgets at Brisbane's Archerfield Speedway. And it will be Rusty Whitaker to lead them away. Rocky Polger, a fantastic night tonight in the 37. Right beside him, he'll start out of position number two. And we are about to pull the trigger and rip the lid for the TFH round number two series. Oh, big push, a little bit greasy out there with a little bit of rain. As they sort themselves out. Whitaker gets down the bottom side, catfishes the concrete, takes Lucky Polger with him. Here comes Friday, he rolls the top side. Having a look around the outside of the bandit, Brad Dawson. 20 laps the journey in this one. And the still mark number 17. Looking the goods at the moment of Rusty Whitaker. Oh, Polger right up near the fence. Friday trying to get a run on Dawson. Can't get the job done as he comes into three and four, sticks it out wide. Dawson makes him hang out there. Again, Friday sticking on the cushion. Whitaker looking comfortable at the moment. A class above the rest. Polger having an absolute ripper night in the ATG 37. Sliding out, looks like Darren Dillon. Gets caught out in the grease, slides up into the middle of the racetrack. Brad Dawson getting the win in round one last night. Finds himself there in third spot and making Viney work for it on the top side of the racetrack. But it's Rusty Whitaker leading this one over Lockie Polger, who is driving the wheels off the 37. Robinson finds himself in the top five. Lights are out. Rip the wheel and let's rip the whip. Down past the cone. Polger goes straight to the top side, bashes the cushion. Fine again, having a look at the outside of Dawson. This time gets the job done. The eight time Australian compact champion. Up in the third spot. Sticking with the top side of the racetrack. Whitaker, meantime, out front, setting the pace in the 17. What more? Great battle back at the uh, tail of the field with Brody Tullock. Side by side out of two. The ATG number 37 machine of Lockie Polger. Just bouncing the front end through turns one and two. Setting sail after Whitaker. He's got about four and a half, five car lengths as they come out of turn four. Mighty starting to come under pressure again from Dawson. Great battle for second and third. Now for third and fourth. Yeah, Brian content to stick on the top side of the racetrack, Macker. Brian Dawson down the bottom, he can't run the top, he's tried that. And it's not working for him, but he doesn't have the car speed. Now if Ryan comes down the bottom, it's probably getting a little breezy up there. They're the only car running that line. He's only just put out right around the racetrack now. And Whitaker doing it in fine style. He's showing Polger a clean set of wheels with the still mark number 17 machine. Polger still having the drive of his life in second spot and Friday. Can't quite get the power down in the six. Close the gap to Polger. Dawson still finding himself in first spot, and as he did last night, Ricky Robinson finds himself in the top five. Nathan Mathers is the next one in the queue. Then we go back to Brody Tullet, Cal Wapmore, and Darren Dillon rounds him out. Six laps left to run. Yeah, big battle down the back here between Cal Wapmore and Brody Tullet in the mold racing number five. Darren Dillon also, oh, Tullock straight over the cushion and just hands a position back to, uh, to Cal Wapmore, who's got Darren Dillon along for company. But Rusty Whitaker making every place to win her in a wide car this weekend. 
punch is not set in second spot though. Have a look at Darren Vine closing. He's gone down to the bottom of the racetrack and he's making that work just as much as he did the top side. He has come from absolutely the clouds at the moment, Darren Vine. He has closed that gap up so much. He's almost right on the tail tank as they come out of four. Two car lengths between Polger and Darren Vine as they sweep through one and two again. Whitaker at the moment. Almost home with two laps to run this time by. The 20 lap journey. Polger and Vine nose to tail out of four. Oh, Robbo slows down down the back straight. Keeping green at the moment, he's still rolling. Yellows will come on, one lap left to run. One to run and what more? Pulls the 36 up at the pit gate. It'll be a green-white checker. Uh, the Singleton Racing Team not having much luck tonight. Oh, race declared, Macca. Race declared. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, race declared. Put your hands together for Rusty Whitaker. He will get the win officially over Lockie Polger and Darren Vine, the top three. Viney jumps out. Lockie Polger. And just waiting on our winner. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Rusty Whitaker.